Hi, I'm Tech Girl Cat with Hutchison Ford, and this is a really quick review of the really awesome things about the new 2013 Explorer. So this is our 2013 Explorer. It is a limited edition. It has a V6 engine, 3.5 liter. Um, so it is kind of a bigger SUV. You're getting about 17, 23 fuel economy, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to show you all the awesome, awesome things about this. It feels so high tech. We're gonna open up the um, tailgate, which is of course automatic. What I love about this is there's no more lifting it with yourself. Like if you look over here, you have it to go back to normal, stow, fold, and then you control right, left, or both. So like you can hit normal. Ah. And you can put just one down. Oh, this is awesome. It really is. Fold. And what's even cooler is that's just folding. Then you can stow it. And make this whole back. <laughs> I'm super easily amused, so I could do this all day. <laughs> so this is something really cool, and they also have the automatic closer, of course. Let me get out of the way. So something really, really neat um, is going to be your automatic start and stop, and this is also how you get into your car. This is like total keyless entry. And I don't mean keyless as in you punch in a number pad. I mean truly keyless entry. There is no key on this, as you can see. It detects when you're close to the vehicle, so you can have this in your purse, in your pocket. You don't have to pull it out. Um, so say it's locked. Um, when you get within a certain distance of the vehicle, it recognizes that you're close by, even if it's in your pocket. And it automatically unlocks for you. So you don't have to dig around anymore. <laughs> So we're going to get in and we'll talk a little bit more about the inside of this car. So a couple of things to know is, again, you don't have a key, so you can just put this in your cup holder or back in your purse or wherever. And then all you have to do is hit your brakes, hit your button, and notice my seat is moving up. I'm really short, so I have to drive like a grandma all over the steering wheel, <laughs> but the car remembers. It has um, seat memory of where all the drivers are, and you can have up to three drivers memory on there. You see over here, one, two, and three. So I'm driver one right now, but you can set that for different people uh, experiencing your Explorer. <clears throat> Something else really cool about the Explorer is this little gadgetry right here. This is your driving style or like your driving terrain. If we move up to like this, this is going to be snow, ice, loose gravel. It's going to be sand and um, kind of, again, loose gravel and it, this is going to be mud ruts and this is of course normal. You can also hit this, which is a hill descent control. Control your speed going down hills and also your fuel economy. And basically what that does is it sets up the vehicle for you. It'll send the torque to the back wheels if you're needing that. It just basically, whatever terrain you're in, it completely controls the car for that terrain without you having to do anything but just spin a dial, which is amazing. So let's start driving. Now something really awesome, if you've kept up with us at all, is uh, the tech girls. We're always making videos about my Ford Touch or the new technology in your vehicles. And so this one obviously comes with my Ford Touch, which is right here. So you can have everything voice controlled. Your, uh, your phone can be Bluetooth to your vehicle, so you can call, you can answer calls, you can answer text messages, all of that just with your voice. You can change music, like... Please say a command. Sirius? Sirius, say a station name or number. 36. Tuning to channel 36. And you can control your climate with your voice as well. Please say a command. Climate? Climate, say a command. Max AC. This is going to get really Maximum freaky. Maximum AC <laughs> on. <laughs> you pretty much take off. Watch my hair blowing in this, you can see how ridiculous it is. <laughs> I mean, when I say max AC, I might be <laughs> I just had to show you that because it cracks me up. <laughs> he will never be hot again, kid you not. 
Also, something, it's gonna be your dash, your own kind of options here. It really gives options to the driver is what they wanna see. On the right right now, I have entertainment, so you can even see what it is I'm listening to, Sirius is on right now. On the left, it says 96 miles to empty, but I can change this to whatever I want. Display mode, look, now I have my RPMs and my gas. Now I have RPMs, gas, and uh, my engine temperature. So there's a bunch of different options. All computerized and it's all done with your steering wheel. Um, that's it. And this, well, I just wanna say that this particular vehicle came with an upgraded equipment group. So you have the heated steering wheel, uh, you have the luxury seating. You also have, with that, we got the Sony speakers, which is a 10 speaker system um, built into all different parts of the car. It's absolutely amazing. You can go to Ford.com for more information on why this particular sound system is so amazing. Um, but needless to say, it's all right here. It's super easy. You basically have like three controls, but this, the uh, sound in here is incredible. Okay, so something else that I really need is space. I love storage space. If I get into a vehicle and there's seriously this much storage space, it's not for me. So you have your front console, which it's kind of dark, but I'll put my hand in there. Whoa! It's pretty, pretty large. I have space for pens. They even have a little space for lip balm. This is definitely, they know who's driving these vehicles. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, you also have up here, which I love. It's a little sink, but it's not just sink, it's a button. Ta! We have stuff in there right now, but my keys whatever but you can see like this is they made this area for you to put in your iPod for you to put in your iPhone anything that's connecting to sync and you have all the connections right here and so it's not rattling around and falling over your feet you have this nice little compartment it goes in there everything's great what's even better is and this doesn't come standard it is a little bit extra but I think it's well worth it for anyone who spent years in a back seat you know how worth it it is so let's take a trip to the back seat and kind of show you how much room we have and what's special back there so first of all, you have options. You can get either a bench seat in the second row or bucket seats. You can see with ours, we have two bucket seats, which is wonderful. But this is what I wanted to show you, is the extra center console. It's leather, it's wonderful soft touch. You have space here, you have two cup holders. You have two additional cup holders over here. But what's great about this, that it opens backwards and it opens up into basically a table space. So it's perfect for your kids playing cards. It's perfect for sitting your Happy Meal. It's just, I love how much space you get. And it's not just a table. This also comes out and reveals an incredibly deep um, console space in here as well. So tons of room, tons of room for the kids, tons of room for you. What's also great about this vehicle is that you do have your normal electric plug-ins, but you also have a 110 volt plug in. You can plug in your chest, your straightener, your laptop, freaking anything that you want can plug in here. It's just like a normal home uh, outlet. You also have rear climate control, which is great for traveling passengers, you know, traveling with a menopausal woman. Sometimes it's not the easiest. <laughs> and if you look in the back, right now it's folded clearly from earlier, but something that's really nice about this is that you don't have the headrests blocking um, your space in the rear mirror when you're driving. These can all fold over and fold back up and it's incredibly comfortable. You have storage space on both sides, you have cup holders on both sides. And of course, like we said earlier, um, it's very, very easy to fold, to fold these seats. Um, it's all, all automatic for you. Okay, so I just wanted to take a quick second to talk about the materials in this car because in here you have leather which is a wonderful quality and what's great is that it's leather basically on everything so you have leather on the consoles on the seats you have leather on the sides it's all soft touch um, this is a hard touch right here but this is all soft and even in the front um, all the dark area that you see it's all soft touch um, it's really 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 a gorgeous interior. They did not, they did not skimp on the details, they did not skimp on the quality of the materials, which is what Ford's known for. So there's one last gadget that I want to show you, just because I think it's awesome. Say you're trying to get into a tight spot, or you have kind of a smaller garage, and you just, you need, you wish that you could fold in your side mirrors. Well, you can. This is so awesome to me. Um, Look at that. <laughs> By the push of a button, and they're folded directly in. And of course, all the changing of the mirrors is automatic as well, but that's something that you don't see on a lot of SUVs. Um, so I guess we're done here. 
And since it's all one touch, all we have to do is the car is off and I'm sliding back into position. So thanks everyone for joining us on this 2013 Explorer Limited review. We hope to keep you updated on all the new models that are coming out. Be sure to watch all our videos on YouTube. It's Hutchison Ford's channel. You can see us on Facebook, Twitter, our blog, and our website. So Kayla and I will keep you up to date. Thanks so much.